Hey, what's up guys, it's Gage from ARG, and today we're going to be talking about some brand new, pretty much Rockstone support we have, which is really interesting and it's actually really good. Uh, today we're going to be talking about Giant Century of Stone as well as Block Dragon, one of the which more supplies to um, that of Rockstone, and the other actually supports a new archetype called Tramid, which I'm going to go over more in depth. Uh, maybe in another video, maybe like tomorrow or something. We'll, we'll get there when we get there. But uh, these are just really two interesting cards that both support rock types that I really want to go to. Rock is such an underrated, uh, barely used archetype. Uh, archetype's not really the word I'm looking for. Type, monster type. Uh, that I really appreciate this uh, the support that's coming out for it because it really is actually that good. Uh, it does have a lot of potential. And definitely the new archetype, Tramid, has really... Uh, really brings Rock back into the meta as it hasn't been anywhere since Rockstone, like, ever. And Rockstone wasn't even that fantastic uh, in the past either. So having something new to come in, something fresh, is really interesting, and I like it a lot. And having these new little just generic support cards is really good. So let's not waste any more time, let's get into it. Block Dragon is a level 8 Earth Rock-type uh, effect monster. 2,500 attack, 3,000 defense. Cannot be normal summoned or set, but it must be special summoned from your hand or graveyard by banishing 3 Earth monsters from your hand or graveyard and cannot be special summoned by other ways. Rock-type monsters you control cannot be destroyed by except by battle, and if this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, you can add up to three Rock-type monsters from your deck to your hand, whose total level equals eight. You can only use this effect of Block Dragon once per turn. I really, really like this card uh, in a place kind of in um, Rock Stun. I really feel this card is kind of um, akin to that of Gaia. It's also a rock monster where it involves banishing your earth monsters from the graveyard to summon it. Uh, but I feel like this card is just infinitely better. Short's body isn't really fantastic. 2,500, 3,000. 3,000 is a lot of defense. But um, having the effect that rock monsters can't be destroyed except by battle is huge. Because monsters like Dark Destroyer and everything can't get over a block dragon because they can't destroy it. So if you drop the block dragon in defense position, it's going to stick there until your opponent can find a way to remove it without... Um, destroying it like uh, of course there's cards like ignister and everything but uh having the ability to not be destroyed is really important uh and we see that it's something really powerful too uh but i think really where this card shines is its second effect where if it's sent to the graveyard you add up to three rock type monsters that equal up to eight uh, that equals eight um excuse me and that's really powerful and the, the key phrase really there is up to three rock type monsters because if it was three type rock monsters then you're in kind of a little bit of a weird situation where you have to do maybe two level threes and a level two which isn't that good at all or level four three and one but now we can actually use just two level four monsters which is really powerful in the sense where we actually expend no resources uh, except from the graveyard, which we're really not going to be digging through the graveyard as much anyways. We expend no resources to summon this monster, and we get a plus two when it's destroyed, which is actually extremely powerful in the fact that we can search out our Quacky Maraku Sandman and uh, our Quacky Maraku, I think it's called Sand Guardian or something like that. Two are probably the most powerful monsters in your um, Rockstun deck. I think also uh, there's another rock monster that got released for Quacky Maraku. I'll probably throw the picture up there if I can find it. But uh, there's, like... There's just a whole bunch of potential with this card here, being able to search, finally, rock monsters that we really didn't have access to before. We have Quacky Mary, now we have actually Quacky Mary, um Diamond Core to be able to search these monsters out, as well as Block Dragon to be able to do that. Also, Block Dragon can get into our monsters that we can't genuinely search off of the Quacky Mary Diamond Core. So, uh, Block Dragon's really exciting. I like it a lot. Uh, kind of similar to that of Block Golem and Block Man. Uh, but I, I think Block Dragon's actually a really powerful card. Uh, not being able to destroy your rock-type monsters, too, allows all those stun-type monsters to be able to stick which is really important but there's another card to go over here and it's giant century of stone uh it's actually not as good in um rock stun setting but uh in the more tramid uh, kind of archetype i feel like it really shines there i'm not gonna go too in depth with tramid but we'll just breeze over this card here so um giant century of stone is a level three earth rock type effect monster 1300 attack 2000 defense uh and the effect can only be used once per turn if this card's in your graveyard and the only monster you control are rock type monsters you can special summon this card from the graveyard so this card here is really simplistic and i actually feel like just its simplicity makes it really good too because of the fact that it doesn't really have too stingy of a requirement you are able to bring this thing out pretty often i uh, i mean really just having nothing but rock monsters on the field it doesn't seem that hard to do, especially if we're looking at a, a deck like Tramid, where actually primarily some, most of the normal summons you're going to be doing are level 3s, or it's two level 3s, uh, that do probably the most in the deck. So um, having a card just to kind of bring out from your graveyard after you summon one of those bros to make a rank 3 for free is pretty awesome, because as much after you expend the uh, effects of the Tramids uh, burning through your field spells and such and everything, 
they're just going to sit there and really do nothing. So it's more than likely a, a good idea to be able to get them off the field or at least transform them into something really good. So that's really helpful, and I do really feel like Giant Century of Stone will uh, fulfill that rule. Uh, sending it to the graveyard might be a little bit of a problem. I'm not really sure there's too many ways to be able to do that, but if you can find a way to get this thing into the graveyard, it's actually going to just keep coming back in the Tremid archetype to be able to make those rank threes after you already facilitate the uses of your level three when you normal summon it. Very powerful card, and I feel like there's a lot of potential, just there needs to be an easy way to get into the graveyard besides that a foolish burial. But, I don't know, I want to hear what you guys think of these brand new support cards. Again, we'll go over the Tremids more in depth on a different video, but I just wanted to go over these more generic rock supports real quick. There's a lot of cards that have been leaked in the past few days, and I'm going to try to uh, get all of them as quick as I can. Uh, maybe I'm going to like group them a couple in videos like I did here with Block Dragon and Giant Century of Stone. So yeah, let me know what you guys think of these two cards. Uh, do you guys think they have potential to either bring Rocks done back or make Tremid a really powerful archetype? I can already see Tremid being meta. It just has so much potential and so much flexibility. I love it already. But I want to hear what you guys think of these cards here. Uh, and yeah, if you guys want to buy or sell products, if you want to attend how events, and if you want to read articles from the top of top players, also at is a place to go check out. Be sure to like our Facebook fan page and subscribe to our Twitch stream if you haven't already. But as always, I thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll catch you guys next time. Gator Marriage, signing out.